Yeah, wanna know what it's like Life. Baby, show me what it's like Life. I don't want to fight no tights Life. I just wanna fuck all night Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Baby, mm. I need to know mm. 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 I just been fantasizing mm. And we got a lot of time mm. Baby, come throw the pipe mm. Gotta know what it's like Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my sexy Scorpios and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, so we're getting to the end of these readings. This might be the last, and I might get y'all one more out. I had to pull out my wine, you guys, you know what I'm saying? We're relaxing, getting into it. I hope you guys have been enjoying these readings this evening or tonight or whatever time it is where you at. So I was kind of shuffling through these cards, and it was like every time I was splitting the deck, it was like I seen something, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this reading and see what it is that Spirits wants you to know. So something can occur, Scorpio, within the next 72 hours, okay? If you guys recall, and I don't remember which reading I did earlier, but um, Jupiter goes direct on the either 28th or the 30th you guys i cannot remember the date somebody please let me know um but jupiter going direct could have something to do with you okay and something can happen within the next 72 hours okay jupiter has to do with growth and expansion okay look sagittarius energy okay someone could be making a move you could be making a move here and then we also have the full moon okay the full moon is about releasing possibly finding out some type of information here okay so something can happen within the next 72 hours you could be making a move someone could be making a move towards you and the full moon this month could be significant we also have the summertime okay all right so i kept seeing this deck as I was shuffling earlier. So let's go on and get into it and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Okay, look what I said. Remember I said Sagittarius energy. Then we have the luck is on your side. So you could be seeing lots of ladybugs, Scorpio. I don't know about you guys, but I remember when I lived in the country, I used to see ladybugs all the time. And now I kind of move, you know, in town. I don't see them, but guess what? I still got ladybugs. Me and my kids be like, did the ladybugs follow us? Like what's going on here okay so ladybugs could be a sign or something then you know that something lucky could be coming towards you or you know you have luck in your energy here luck is on your side this could be a time to you know buy the scratch off ticket or you know play the lotto go gambling whatever you feel you might be feeling lucky okay and for some of you yes luck is on your side so if you've been feeling lucky you got this itch to go you know what i'm saying buy the ticket or do some shit i don't do that shit stuff y'all all right, let's get into it. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Damn, I'm going to take all of them. Man, y'all, I knew I seen that confession card. That's why I brought this deck right here. Okay, because I was about to say, I don't know what's in here, but confession. Okay. All right, you guys, Mercury Retrograde. So we have caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. So hold on, let me do this. Okay. So some of you guys, okay, something can happen during Mercury retrograde, okay? That's going to be within the next 72 hours because we are coming to the end of Mercury retrograde, okay? The last day is January the 1st, okay? So something can happen during Mercury retrograde. This can happen within the next 72 hours here. This could be some type of issues, communication issue, issues here, okay? This could be someone wanting to make a move or the full moon could be causing somebody to do something. Could be bringing back somebody from your past. Then we have caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. So something could be being revealed. We got confession. Somebody got something to tell you. So something could be being revealed to you. Remember I said full moon? Come on, through Spirit. Remember I just said something about the full moon, something being revealed here? So somebody could have some type of confession or something that they want to say. But it's like before you get all worked up and get your panties in a bunch, Scorpio, let's see what it is. That this person wants to confess. I promise to God, that's why I got this deck out. This particular day, right here, because I seen that confession card. Let's go in and see it. So, somebody got a confession that they want to make, Scorpio. So, let's pull some messages and see what this confession is that they want to make, okay? 
If anything is resonating for you guys so far, don't forget to like this video. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Tell us more about this confession. Someone has something that they want to say to Scorpio. Scorpio, you can be the one. Maybe you got to make a confession, okay? You want to be like Usher and say, these are my confessions. So maybe you got something that you want to confess, okay? Let's see. All right. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this confession. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? Hmm. Tell us about this confession, Holy Spirit. What do they want to say? I'm sorry for all the things I said and done that caused you hurt and pain, okay? So this person wants to confess to you, Scorpio. They want to just let you know, I'm sorry. So this is someone who possibly wants to give you an apology here, okay? They're sorry for all the things that they said, all the things they done to cause you some type of hurt and pain. So someone could actually be getting ready to apologize to you guys, okay? I'm so confused and I don't know where to go from here, okay? I don't know where we go from here. So possibly after this person makes this confession, like, you guys are going to be confused. I, man, that was a reading idea earlier today. It's like all these readings, I, it be coming together, okay? I feel like for some of you, after this person makes a confession, I remember I seen it, Two of Pentacles um, card earlier. It's like, you're not going to know. I feel like this is you. I feel like after this person makes this confession, they, they tell you, you know, they speak their truth. They give you that truth and clear that you've been dying for, that you've been wanting. It's like the shit really going to have you confused. And it's like, you're not going to know where you and this person are going to go. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where to go from here after this person makes this confession. So for, I'm going to pull on that. I'm going to try to remember to pull on that, okay? So it's like, you're not going to know where to go from this. They're, like, you don't know where you guys are going to go. Messages for my Scorpio's Holy Spirit. Tell us about this confession. What does this person want to confess to my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio's? What do they want to confess? Everything will be all right. You'll see. We just need time and space apart to focus on our goals and dreams. So someone here can maybe be telling you, you know, that, that you guys are going to be okay. Maybe they want some space so they can focus on their dreams and goals and so that you guys can focus on your dreams and your goals here. Or maybe this is why they're going to tell you why, you know, you guys are in separation or why you guys have to take a break. In the first place, tell us about this confession, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to confess? I miss you so much. My heart and soul are longer to be with you again, okay? So someone can tell you or just really confess to you. I feel like I'm seeing the energy of picking up on the energy of like someone here like telling you everything really that you wanted to hear. And it's like after this person confesses like their heart and tells you all this, like you don't know what to do because you know for, you know sometimes you be waiting for somebody to do some shit then when they do it because it took so long or you be waiting for something to happen and then when it happened like it's not that exciting as you thought it was going to be or it's not what you thought. It's not giving as they say. So I feel like, like this person I feel like is going to make this confession to you. And it's like, you're really not going to know where to go. Like, I feel like you don't know whether to move forward with this person. You ain't going to know whether to just stay, you know, to keep things where they are. Like, you're going to be so confused here. For some of you, this could have already happened. This person want to let you know that you are the love of their life and they will treat you like the precious treasure that you are. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that's going to lay it on real thick, Scorpio. I'm talking about real thick. But the, the energy I'm picking up on, like, don't nothing tell me. We'll say caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Okay, bam. That's what it is. I was just going to say, ain't nothing giving me the energy of this person lying or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see that they laying it on real thick. And I don't feel like these are so much lies, per se. 
But I kind of pick up the energy of somebody being desperate. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody here just feeling like they got to do whatever it is to convince you here to change your mind or to do something here. So I feel like before you get all worked up or you just, you know, find out more information. Just take your time, Scorpio. Just take your time is all I can say. Someone can realize, like, they can tell you everything. Like, they can tell you everything that happened. Like, you know, I was dealing with such and such. And, you know, I didn't know you were the love of my life. And then you were meant to be. And whoop de whoop this and that. And you just going to be sitting there like, the fuck I'm supposed to do with this information now? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, that's the energy I'm picking up on for some of you. Okay, let's pull one more. And then I'm going to pull... On why you guys or who was this is gonna be confused. I feel like just just the things that they're gonna tell you, like it's just gonna have you so confused. Like you just ain't gonna know what to do. Let's see one more. Nothing can break the bond of love between us. All of me loves all of you. I'm telling you, for some of you guys, this person's gonna tell you that they love you. And I feel like them telling you that, like it's gonna move you. But then I feel like for some of you, like <laughs> Scorpio, y'all know we ignorant. I feel like for some. For some of you, it's like like they're gonna be telling you that they it's kind of gonna be like what this person did. See, that's the energy I'm picking up on. I feel like the roles really have flipped with you and this person. It's like now they're gonna be the one confessing they love and all this shit. And it was like before when you confess they your love to this person, now you heard it was crickets chirping and shit. Like this is about to be one of these type scenarios again. That's the that's the energy I'm picking up on. But I feel like for some of you, someone here about to be landing on extra thick. Like, I don't pick up, the, I don't know. Let's pull. All right, Holy Spirit, tell us about, I'm so confused and I don't know where to go from here. So what is going to have my Scorpio so confused? What's going to have them so confused that they don't know where to go from here? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Can you clarify? I'm so confused and I don't know where to go. Who was this that's so confused? I know I feel like this is you, Scorpio. But why is this person? Why are they Scorp why is Scorpio gonna be confused? Yeah, let me do it like that. Holy Spirit, tell me why is Scorpio going to be confused here? Why is Scorpio gonna be confused, Holy Spirit? Why is Scorpio going to be confused? I feel like this person going to break. For some of you, I feel like this person going to like, they like, they, when I tell you, they going to tell you everything. Like, you going to know everything, Scorpio. And for some of you, this person gonna come to you when they hit rock bottom. Okay, for some of you, you ain't gonna hear from this person, period, until they done hit all the way rock bottom. And that's when they're gonna decide to make this move towards you, okay? You're gonna find out for some of you guys, this person is single. They're gonna tell you about how they dealt with the ultimate betrayal for some of you guys the ultimate betrayal is finding out this third party was fucking one of their family members or friends or that they like other men and women like it's all type of shit okay i feel like for some of you whatever this person's gonna tell you like i feel like it actually may feel a little bit sorry for you like this person may kind of like for some of you you might still got a little soft spot for this person and i feel like this person know this shit and it's like they're gonna try to milk the shit out of their little soft spot that you got. That's why, you know, find out before you get all worked up, find out more information first. But I feel like you will know, Scorpio, if this shit is genuine or not. Because how to look at these rocks here. I feel like they're going to tell you about some shit. And I feel like for some of you, like you, it's really going to make you feel a little empathetic toward this person. You know, I did a reading about that, you know, about being able to see both sides of the story. And I feel like when this person really makes this confession, like you're going to actually see both sides. You're going to see why they actually did you the way they did and you're going to understand their side you're going to understand your side like 
it's really going to be like, it's going to be crazy, Scorpio. That's all I like. Like, I, I'm trying to find the words to, to say, and I can't find no words. All I can say is I feel like for some of you, you're really going to empathize with this person. I feel like it's going to fuck with you because you didn't expect to. You was like, man, fuck them and all of this. And then for you to even just feel a little bit sorry for this person, like it's really going to fuck with you. Because you're going to be like, well, what about this and that? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I feel like it's going to be that devil in the in the angel on your ear. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a devil on this side. Like, well, bitch, they did this, 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 and woo, woo, woo. And then the angel going to be like, but then they, they open up. They told you this. Like, what else? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be going back and forth. But I feel like that she's going to have you so confused. And you you really not going to know where you and this person are supposed to go from here. <sighs> 10 10 could be very significant, Scorpio. You can hear from this person at nighttime. Give us one more, Holly Spirit. Why is Scorpio going to be confused? I feel like you're going to be confused because some of you guys, you're going to be like in this six of months, you know, you're going to be experiencing a lot of success. Like when this person telling you, for some of you, you're not going to hear from this person until they hit rock bottom. Okay. And while they over here falling, you're going to be rising. Okay. And you're going to be in the six of ones energy, something that you're doing, you know, that energy we talked about earlier, something that you're really working hard and dealing, dealing, diligently on. <laughs> Something that you're putting in a lot of hard work, you're going to be celebrating. Something's going to get, bring you a lot of recognition, a lot of reward. You're going to be very successful, accomplishing goals. Some of you guys, you're going to actually be fucking famous. Like, we're going to be looking up and seeing your ass on the TV screen, okay? And you're going to be feeling like you're on cloud nine because I feel like this, like this love and this praise and this energy you're going to be feeling like. You're going to be like, man. But then even while you up here, Scorpio, a part of you still going to want to help this person. I feel like for some of you, this person going to need your help. And I'm talking about for some of you, your divine counterpart. And I'm going to tell you why I'm saying your divine counterpart. Because a lot of us on this journey, when we met our twin, we wasn't in the energy that we're going to be in in the future. We ain't going to be, we wasn't successful. A lot of us are still trying to figure out what the hell we was going to do with our lives and all of this. And I feel like when you get that taste of success, like, you really be like, nigga, we made it. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, I'm sorry. Like, when you be like, we, you know what I'm saying? We made it, y'all. Like, when you feel that energy of you made it, that's when this person. I feel like when you really make it, when you really make it, that's when this person. It's like a kind of yo-yo effect. You know what I'm saying? Like, the balance of the scales. It's like when you be up here, that's when this person going to be the fuck down here. And for some of you, that's when they going to need your ass. And I feel like that's what spirit wants you to be cautioned about for some of you, okay? For some of you already done fell for the okie doke when it came to this person. And, and that's why spirit saying, use your discernment here. Find out more information before you know. You get all worked up here. So we got Gemini and we got Leo energy. Something significant. You can have Leo places. A Leo could be in your 10th house. Your north or south node could be in Gemini or Aries. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? We got Pisces, Capricorn, Sag, Aries. Look at this. We got Heavy Leo, Sag, Capricorn. And we also have Leo, Pisces, Gemini, and Cancer. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.